So this toy I bought for my two-year-old, and I actually chose it because he chose it. I wasn't really looking at it, I thought it was quite overpriced, but he really liked it. And what drew him to it straight away was this cog feature here. So basically you turn it and it goes up and down. Now I must say, when it was in the cardboard box, oh, singing, it was easier to turn. But to turn it one-handed is quite difficult, you have to really hold on to it. And obviously a toddler doesn't realise that you have to hold and then turn. He just wants to turn it like with one hand. It's a little bit difficult to do that. So that's a little bit of a shame. I'm a double decker so I can carry more cars. <laughs> when we were in the shop, obviously it was on a shelf and in a box. So he could like it was quite stationary. So he was able to turn this easily. But then since getting it out of the box, I've realised it's a bit difficult. We've realised it's a bit difficult to turn it, like I said, one-handed. Um, so that's a slight downside. So another negative of this toy, um, which I didn't realise, I should have realised it in the shop. Basically, this part here, this little lever, oh, in the box, I haven't got the box anymore, there was like a bit of rope from here, that hole, like attaching it to here. And I just thought that was because, well, silly, I didn't, I didn't realise, look, how easily that comes off. And if you've got a toddler, you will know that if something comes off their toy, they will keep asking you to put it back on. And that just pops off really easily, as you can see. So my toddler was a bit upset about that. And I actually lost this piece before filming this video. So I had to go and um, have a hunt for it. I didn't know where it had gone because it's such a small piece. But I don't know why they've designed it so it can be taken off so easily. Like It should be a bit more stiff and sturdy and in there but anyway because basically if you don't have that then the cars will slide back um and my toddler was also getting upset about that so just bear that in mind if you're thinking about buying a toy where you want as, as um least tantrums as possible this one you may have a few toddler tantrums with this piece here and this car sliding back um yeah, for the price, this should really be a better design. But yeah, that's um, a little bit disappointing. Overall, though, my toddler, he's just uh, two and two months. He has really enjoyed this toy so far. I think these are really nice. I'll show you them. Hi. So there's like a phone. Hi, can I help? Um, what's that one? That is a tool, like a screwdriver. This one is a spanner. Nice. That's my spanner. It helps to tighten bolts. And then at the front, you've got like on all the toot toot driver cars, a little face here that you press. Hi, I'm a heavy car carrier. That's nice. And then what else have you got on this side? On the other side there, there's no, there's like some little petrol thing here but they're not like you can't press them it's just you know for design it moves really nice my toddler loved pushing it along the floor and yeah the cars that are included are okay there's a little yellow one there they don't make sounds or they don't have lights or anything so they're very basic that's the yellow one and the green one still quite sweet though he's enjoyed putting them in and out and actually on that note at the back here, you've got a little ramp. He's really enjoyed <laughs> putting them in and he goes, he puts them in and he goes, bye bye. Or he goes, close, open. So he's really enjoyed this feature. And I love this feature actually, because it's really fun watching him say bye bye. Look, he's got a bit of his chocolate on it. Sorry, viewers. That's because literally he's been playing with it so much. I wouldn't have normally bought this because I paid, I think just under 30 pound for it. It's a very expensive toy, but because he was so interested in it, um, I was like, okay, you know, it's one he's actually going to play with. But um, like I said, downsides to it are this thing. I know I'm going to have a lot of trouble with that thing. I know it's going to keep going missing and he's going to get really upset. Um, this is okay, but 
very difficult to do it one-handed, even as an adult. It's not an easy mechanism, but that's a nice feature. That could possibly fall off. It looks a bit flimsy, but it's okay. And then it's got, oh, what's that? Two sound options. So it's on the highest one. Me off, medium, high. So let's lift it up. Does it stay? Yeah, actually it does stay once it's up. And then let's get these out. I think there are cheaper ones on the market with the same idea of like different levels um i don't know what you call this forgotten already as i'm filming this but yeah there are actually cheaper options on the market you see that's supposed to stop it but if you lift it up it's going to be flying down and then if you close that it should be flying down but stay in Does it close when they're on that level? Yeah, so there you go. I hope this video has been helpful. And if you want to see more honest reviews of these types of toys, then please do subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye.